Uh, welcome to Motivational Monday. This week I'm so excited to announce the release of 23 and Finally Loving Me, my very first book. A long journey because I'm not 23 anymore. <laughs> not even close. Well, okay, close. But I'm not 23 anymore. But the journey to get this book published has been a very uphill journey. Um, and I'm excited finally here and it's officially available for pre-order. So I want you guys to pre-order it. But I wanted to spend this week talking about what it is and what the book is about so that you understand the benefit to you. Throughout the book, I'm being very open and transparent about self-love, that journey to getting to that place the journey to getting through self-development and growth. And basically it started with me realizing that I didn't actually love myself. On my 23rd birthday, I decided to commit to spending the year really devoting the time to and the energy to develop financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, professionally, just every area of life, just really spending that time just focused on how can I be a better version of myself and how can I learn to love myself? So as you can imagine, being 23 and realizing like, hey, you actually really don't love yourself um, and how scary of a feeling that is because naturally I always considered the fact that of course I love myself. Why wouldn't I? But really, when I sat back and thought about it, I really didn't. And I had to get to that place and I had to learn how to, to get there. And I'm realizing now that that's a lifelong journey. But it's so worth it. It's so worth it. With people and things and settling for a lot of different things that I just didn't deserve simply because I didn't know I deserved better. So throughout that process, it really was just a journal, a journaling experience at first. Um, I didn't really have intentions on publishing the book at first. Really, it was just to, to get healthy. And I think that's why it ended up being as open and as transparent as it is. Because had I gone into it realizing that I wanted to publish the book, I don't think I would have been as open. <laughs> it's some pretty um, transparent moments in the book. Even people who knew me at that time were like, wait, I didn't know half of this about you. Yeah, because no one really walks around and says, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. Um, but maybe we should. Maybe we should be honest with ourselves and honest with the people around us because it really is helpful. How it became a book, because I realized it was helpful for other people. And I realized that someone could benefit from my struggle. And I realized that I'm not the only person going through that transition and feeling like, okay, what's next? And the struggle of a lot of the millennials that we're going through right now is feeling like, okay, I've graduated, I've gotten on my own, but where do I go from here? And I talk about it a little bit in the book, but you go from the party animal at 21 to being a responsible adult at 25 and no one really talks about what that looks like in between. What are you really supposed to do? And it's not even necessarily about the specific age, because even as I've been going through the the editing and the revisions of the book, I know now, even a few years later, it's still helpful. And even my publisher, she reached out to me and she's like, listen, I'm so far beyond 26, but it was helpful for me. And I wish that there was a book like this out when I was 23. So I want you to take advantage of that, whether you're 23, whether you're 21, 18, 35, 45, 50, whatever the case, it can help you and it can help someone that you know and that you love that is going through a very difficult transitional phase. And I, 
I really hope that you guys truly understand the power of transparency uh, that I think is shown tremendously in this book. The moment that I realized I really, 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 so that's how I became made it a book. The moment I realized this book has to go out. Um, last year, I was a part of a spiritual development course in my church. And one of the ladies in my in my class uh, had expressed that her daughter was struggling with suicide and depression. And afterwards, I went up to her and I said, you know, I have also dealt with suicide and depression. And if you need someone to talk to or if you need it, if there's anything I can do to help, basically, just let me know. A few weeks later, she reached out and she said that her daughter had... Um, been date raped and it triggered her suicidal thoughts very very much so to the point that her daughter had to be hospitalized and she was expressing that she just didn't know how to talk to her daughter she felt like everything that she was saying and everything she tried to do was just really making things worse between her and her daughter and she didn't know how to help and so through that conversation I really just explained what I needed from my mother at that when I was going through those phases what I wished my mother would have done and I tried to communicate from a place of maybe this is how she's feeling maybe this is what she can't communicate at this time but this is what she's trying to say and using my issues and my struggles with depression and suicide and being able to help someone else really and truly made it feel worth it. Like I really was actually for the first time thankful that I had had those experiences so that I could help someone else. And that's really what the book is all about. It's really about me being open and honest about the struggles that I've gone through, whether it was depression or suicide or low self-esteem or daddy issues or family drama and just the aftermath of college and life and trying to get it all figured out. That transparency through all the things that I've just mentioned, I really hope helps somebody. And that's really the premise of the book. And so I hope, I really hope that you guys go out and pre-order the book. Pre-ordering the book now will give it to you at a discounted rate, as well as it will come with a signed copy for me. Yay. Um... So I really, really, really want you guys to go out, pre-order the book. The pre-order is available at the link in my comments, um, and the link is now in my bio as well. So just make sure that you are um, pre-ordering it and sharing it with your friends and family as well. The book will be released December 2nd. I am having a book release party for family and friends. Afterwards, the book will be available and will be sent out and all of that fun stuff. It will also be available um, through Amazon and all those other electronic uh, devices. But in the meantime, make sure you secure your pre-order copy so that you get the discounted rate and that you get the signed copy. All right. Thanks, guys.